There are six available options for ZFS inside of Proxmox. Let's take a quick look at what each one is. Your first option is going to be ZFS RAID 0. It's going to be striping and it's going to offer no data redundancy, but you can have a minimum of one disk for striping. Your next option is going to be ZFS RAID 1. It's going to be a mirrored option. You need a minimum of two disks and they should be the same size. ZFS RAID 10, you're going to need a minimum of four disks and two disks will be striped to and two disks will mirror the two striped disks. It's going to offer strong data protection, but your disks are highly recommended to be the same size and you will lose the data on your larger disks because it'll create all sets of data to the size of your smallest disk. Next will be ZFS RAID 1 or Dash one, and that's going to be very similar to your traditional RAID 5, allowing for one disk failure. It's going to be recommended that you have a minimum of three drives, and it will allow for the failure of up to one disk without the array breaking. RAID dash two is going to require four disks, and it's going to accommodate two disk failures at the same time, but you're still limited to the size of your smallest disk. And the last option available in Proxmox during installation for a RAID setup is gonna be RAID-3. It's gonna require a minimum of five drives, but you could have three drives fail at the exact same time without your system going down.